Hi, this is Justice, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the canvas inside of Rebel 5. Now, there is something very, very different about the canvas in Rebel 5 and in Rebel in general as compared to any other drawing program that you've ever used. So I refer to it as a living digital canvas because in any other drawing program that I've seen, you're doing the input and that's it. There's no interaction, there's no play, there's no back and forth, there's no dance between the, the colors and the mixing of the colors and the paper and the texture of the paper and the absorbency of the paper. And Rebel 5 has the most realistic interaction between the two. And this is, is what I think makes it feel alive as opposed to static. In order to demonstrate this, I'm gonna use one of the most heavily textured canvases that are available. Uh, this one is EX29 Yucca Rough, and it's just ripe full of beautiful textures. It's a multicolored paper or canvas, and so you can see in here it's not just a white piece of paper or a brown piece of paper or a gray piece of paper. It's, it's full of all these different uh, aspects and attributes. So this is going to do a wonderful job of demonstrating how the canvas is alive inside of Rebel 5. Now I have the diffusion speed turned pretty high. We're going to bring it down just a little bit. And the visual settings is where you adjust how the canvas interacts back with you. Okay, so absorbency, rewet, texture influence. We're going to go into these in detail in a visual settings video. But for right now, I'm just going to give you a taste of it. How is the canvas reactive? How is it alive? Okay, let's put down some color, watercolor here. We have some blue and some cadmium yellow medium and some cadmium red deep. Let's add a little bit more opacity here. Here and here. And then I'm going to grab the blow tool. And you're going to see this starting to diffuse. And the paint here, let's turn on the tilt. You can see that immediately affected what was happening on the canvas. So let's go into settings here. Let's turn the texture influence really high. And you're going to see that this is going to start bouncing off the textures in the paper. So look at that. Now, if I turn texture influence down, you're going to see that it just immediately starts to smooth out as if it were on glass. Let's bring that back up, texture influence back up. And let's add a little bit of water. Rewet, we're going to put this down at zero. A little water over the top. You're going to see it doesn't do a whole lot. Let's bring rewet all the way up to 10 and drag here across the middle. And you're going to see the effect of that wetting process was much greater at 10. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to dry this section right here. We're going to wet this section right here. And then we're going to blow from one side to the other. You're going to see, again, how the texture in the canvas specific to this canvas is going to affect where that water pools. And this is really, really cool. All right, one thing that I'm going to point out here is that in Rebel 5, there is now an option for granulation, which is something that happens in regular watercolor when watercolor starts to dry. Uh, let's go ahead and re-wet this layer, wet the layer. Let's drag right over the top here. And we're going to see this move out. Let's take a blending brush. Let's turn the texture influence down quite a bit so we get a smooth diffusion of this watercolor. It's not bouncing off of all the ridges in the paper. Okay, now you're going to see here on the outside, this granulation is starting to happen as this starts to dry. We're going to bring diffusion speed way up so we can see this a little bit faster. And as this dries, you're going to see this texture starting to form on the tops the drying watercolor. You can choose between a couple different patterns here as well. You can adjust the strength. 
and the density for right now we have it at five. All right, so let's grab this and let's play with a little bit of oils. Uh, so we're doing some mixed media and I, I could watch this like a fire or like waves in the ocean. I think it is so soothing and satisfying. Okay, so let's take some nice thick oils. We have our impasto depth way up high. I'm gonna grab some yellow. And I'm gonna drop it right here in the middle. And I'm gonna grab some red right here. We're gonna take the watercolor brush. We're gonna go right over the top. You're gonna to see texture influence, rewet properties, absorbency. All of these are going to play into how this moves across the screen. Let's add some blue and some blue paint. And we're going to be able to get these really amazing textures. Okay, let's drag out here a couple lines and let's put some water here, right here on top. And let's turn tilt back on so we have gravity. Let's make this section wet. Let's add a little bit more water. And you can see how this diffuses outwards. These colors are just so rich and satisfying. And again, all of these here affect how this diffuses on the screen. So you have so much control on, on how this, again, how this canvas interacts back with you. You can adjust the texture scale to much lower or much higher. So you can really get inside the, the textures of the canvas. And then in Rebel 5 Pro, you have this option for nano pixel. So that means that here at this near microscopic level, you can actually see the grain of the canvas. You can use this to print beautiful high resolution prints that really show off the texture of the paper. And these are almost indistinguishable from prints of natural media paintings. All right, now what we're gonna do something a little fancy here. We are going to do a screen grab. So Win Shift S right here, we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it back on here. Now this is a little fancy trick. We're gonna create a new layer right here and we're going to pick a different canvas. So I want you to see how different the effects are on a different type of canvas. So let's go up here. We're going to choose EX13 Crumpled. This is kind of a pillowy type of textured canvas. And we're going to delete what's here, right here on the bottom layer. We'll hide it. And let's go ahead and explore how this looks here. Again, we have our comparison with all the texture to the left. We have pigments turned on on this layer. And let's go ahead and start laying down some color. All right, so we're this cadmium yellow medium here at the top, cadmium red deep over here, and the phthalo blue right here on the right. We have our tilt turned on. We have texture influence low. Let's bring our texture influence up. Let's turn off tilt for now. Let's use the blow tool and push some of this back up. Let's add a little bit of water here in the center. Use the dry tool right here on the section. And the texture, the style is so dramatically different. You have a different feel, a different emotion using a different canvas. It's not just an image. It is a platform that you're building your artwork on. Now look at this. Look how beautiful that is. There's so much personality and texture in this. You can see right down here, the granulation is starting to form. Up here, these colors have just blended beautifully. So much personality. Let's go ahead and add some oil over the top. And 
and take some water and put it on top here. And you're going to see how these start to play together. They're interacting. They're alive. All right, let's take a little bit more water and let's adjust the texture influence and bring rewet really high and go right here. Let's drop the absorbency. And let's go right here and let's cut into this. And add some water again right here on the top. Let's see now again, our texture influence is really low. Let's bring the texture influence up and you can see that canvas texture. Just love this. So satisfying. So, so satisfying. switch to tablet mode so we can see. If you're done letting the colors, the oils, the water explore the canvas, then you can stop it right here with fast dry, which is going to stop it without drawing everything. Or you can go right here and do dry the layer with shift D and that's going to dry everything right where it's at. It's done. There's no more action that's going to happen. Or you can just pause it here with pause diffusion, which is keyboard shortcut D. So you can see how this living digital canvas interacts back with you. Look at the difference between these textures here, these hard, gritty textures and over here these soft pillowy textures and you've got these dramatically different emotions based on the canvas the foundation that you built your painting on and you can explore these back and forth uh, you can buy more papers there's a lot available on the website that gives you a reusable foundation with all this personality in it you can find those here by clicking on get more papers. You can also get more color sets there and you can download custom brushes made by people in the community. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to Rebel 5's living digital canvas. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. Or if you would just like to share how happy this makes you to be able to interact back and forth with your artwork, not just doing input then put that in the comment section. Let the developers know how much you like these features. All right, you guys, until next time, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.